Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about how to find the maximum area enclosed by a certain amount of fencing. So I'm going to show you kind of all the steps for that. This is a really typical type of problem to ask when you're talking about quadratic functions. So um, as a reminder, there's always free guided notes available at DividingConquerMath.com. And hey, while you're here, maybe you could do me a solid, maybe like my video or subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, please. I'm trying to grow this channel so every little bit helps. Okay. So let's get started. So a farmer wants to create a rectangular garden with 100 feet of fencing. What is the largest amount of area she can enclose? Okay, so if you have a problem like this, maybe you have a different number than 100, but like all the work for this is always gonna end up being the same. So you really just wanna kind of understand the steps that go into this, and there are quite a few steps. I'd highly recommend having paper with you and writing these steps down and taking your time and thinking about this and maybe rewatch this explanation um, just to kind of get it all because it, it's a lot to, that goes into this. So let's start with this idea of a rectangular garden. Okay, so rectangular garden. All right, so maybe this is overkill, but let's just draw what that looks like. So here's my garden. Okay, so why do we even care about this in the first place? So the idea is I, as long as this uses all 100 feet of fencing, it doesn't matter what my garden looks like. So just to kind of show you kind of what this is getting at. So I could have something like, oh, I don't know, 25 and, and 25. So obviously this is not to scale, but if I use 25 feet of fencing here, 25 here, 25 here, 25 here, that would technically get me to a hundred feet of fencing. So think about the area of this versus what if instead I did 20 and 30. So 20, 30, 20, 30. Or if I wanted to be like super ridiculous, I could also do maybe this side is five and then this side is 45. So this would be 5, 45, 5, 45. So think about just taking the area of each one of these shapes. So the issue here is that there's a lot of different ways you could actually arrange this 100 feet of fencing. And we want to get the maximum amount of area. So how do I know which one of these to choose? So let's forget about all that now and let's actually focus on the problem. So we've got to kind of turn this now into more algebraic language. So first and foremost, just in general, the way that I would label a rectangle would be something like the length and the width. And there's two things that I know about this, okay? First, this is talking about what the area has to be. So first, if we, if we think about this, how do you calculate the area of this shape? So the area will be L times W, but there is a constraint. So I want to just kind of note all the relevant equations here before I really start getting my hands dirty with this. How do I bring this 100 into the problem? How does this 100 relate to this? Well, if I add up all the sides of this rectangle, it has to equal 100. So if I add up the sides, that'll be L plus W plus L plus W, that has to equal 100, which of course I could rewrite this as 2L plus 2W equals 100. Okay, and from this now, we can actually do quite a bit. So. Let me write that down one more time. So I have A equals L times W, and then we had 2L plus 2W equals 100. Now, the, the general thing you wanna do when you have kind of both of these equations, what we wanna usually do is we'd like to get as few letters as possible. So this is just kind of a, a general thing you wanna get to because it's like we can't really solve this as it is, but this, this equation has three letters, this equation has two letters. And notice that I could easily solve for L or W, and then, then that might actually help me cut down how many letters I have. So as far as like, I wanna solve for one of these letters, I'm going to solve for one of the letters in this equation just because there are fewer letters in the second than in the first. So let's go ahead and just solve for L. You could have done this for W, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm just making a choice here. So if I wanna solve this for L, so first I'd have to subtract 2W. So I get 2L equals 100 minus 2W. And then I'd divide everything by two to get L equals 50 minus W. Okay, so this is kind of what you want. You want one letter now to equal something in terms of the other. 
And what this will allow you to do is now this will allow me to take this result and I could actually plug it into the other equation. So I'm gonna call this equation one. And now I'm gonna just write here, so plug into one. So now where I had A equals L times W, I'm now going to make this replacement, putting this into the L. So this will be A equals 50 minus W, oh, 50 minus W e times W. Okay, so notice, right, this was my, my L, now I replaced it, so I'm good to go here. Now, what I would recommend that you do is pause the video and just try to get good up to this point, make sure everything makes sense. And I'd like you to distribute and then just look at the result and think about why I brought this up in terms of, remember the, the name of this. This whole lesson is about quadratics. And so far, we're like not talking about quadratics at all. So I want you to distribute, look at what you have, and see if you can kind of think about how you might, to go back to what this is, how you might find the largest or the maximum amount of area that you can enclose. So pause the video for a second, think about that. Hit play when you've had a second just to think and, and catch up. Okay, so I'm gonna distribute this, this W here. So this becomes 50W minus W squared. Okay, so this is why I wanted you to kind of pause and look at this for a second. So looking at this, this side here, this side is quadratic now, right? How, how is it quadratic? It's quadratic because it has the squared piece here. It's just in the wrong order. So I can reorder this. So let's reorder. So I'm gonna continue over here. Let's see, I'm actually gonna erase this so I have a little more space. So my A, if I just reorder it, this will be negative W squared plus 50W. Okay, so this is quadratic, at least on this side, right? It's got the square term. And quadratics have maximums or minimums. So the question is, does this particular equation, does it have a maximum or a minimum? This will have, so this is negative here. So since it's negative, this quadratic will open downwards. Since it opens downwards, it has a maximum. So when this asked for at the very beginning, what is the largest amount of area you can enclose? What's the maximum amount of area you can enclose? It is actually just the maximum point of this parabola. It was a parabola in disguise. So all I have to do then is figure out what is the vertex. So I'll just note that. So find the vertex. Now, if you're watching this, I'm assuming that you already know that this opens downwards and that you know how to find the vertex. If both of these things make no sense to you, I will drop a link to another video just where I kind of discuss this. It's, it's not too much detail, but it, it's better discussed in another video. So I have to just find the vertex of this. So in this case, so remember for a vertex, you need to calculate negative B over 2A. So what's in the B position of this? That would be 50. And then what's in the a position of this, um, this quadratic, it would be negative one. So here's everything. And if I multiply all this together, I would get 25 and, and do the division. So now this is what I have to actually plug into this formula here. So now I need to just, maybe I'll note that. So plug into our formula. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So now I'm gonna have A equals negative 25 squared plus 50 times 25. Now one just finer note here, this is a really common mistake um, I see when students are working on this particular problem. Make sure you don't put the negative inside of here. The negative goes on the outside. So look at how this was stated. The negative has been clearly broken out, so you, you have to make whatever this is, this will ultimately end up as something negative. So if I add all of this stuff together, I get 625. So that's actually my area, right? That's A equals 625. And that actually answers the, the question, what is the largest amount of area she can enclose? It would be 625 feet squared is the most 
area you can enclose. Now, just to add on one other thing, what would be the dimensions of this? Well, the width would be 25, right? So this part here, if I'm plugging it into this formula, 25 would be going in for the W, so that's the width is 25. And then the length, so remember this was our length equation, so I could just take 50 minus 25, so it would be 25 uh, by 25. So my dimensions will be 25 times 25 in this case. And so that covers the whole thing. Um, so hopefully that was helpful to you. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.